Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, got a knife here from our good friend Casey over at a Knives Fast, Mr. Tempest Knives himself as well. Very cool. He actually sent me uh, three knives to check out. This is going to be the first one we're going to talk about, the TS399 from Tucson. But make sure you go check out Knives Fast. His link is always in the description of every one of my videos. So here we go. This, this is a nice knife. <laughs> um, it is designed by our good friend Sean Hassan uh, from Tepe Designs. I don't know if you've ever had the opportunity to meet Sean. Uh, highly recommend it. Awesome, awesome guy. Spent some time with him at Blade Show Atlanta last year. Went out to dinner with him. Just really, really a fantastic guy. But this is his design collaboration with Tucson. Now, as you can see, you've got some really, really nice micarta. It's got a really good grip on it. You also got a very generous micarta backspacer on there. So, I mean, you're about you're looking at about two thirds coverage there on the back side. Just a little bit of open. You do have a deep carry clip. I mean, there's just a little bit. Sticking out there, nothing too bad. Now, come on, Tucson. I know you can do recessed screws as well. Now, it is not left-hand friendly. I'm sorry, lefties. And there's no lanyard post. Oh, my goodness. Well, we're not making the lefties happy, and we're not making the lanyard fans happy. But, sorry about that, guys. But, hey, you maybe put a lanyard there. I don't know. I don't know. You guys could figure it out. I, I don't use lanyards. So, the one thing I did find kind of... I don't know, odd, interesting, odd, however you want to put it, is the screws are flush, but you will see that the micarta is actually milled cut to make them flush. Now, that is, that's interesting. That's something you don't see very often. And then on the back side of your button, you see how you've kind of got a milled piece there around the button as well. And then on the back side of that button, same thing. So that's a little interesting. Really haven't seen that too much. I confused the camera there for a minute. Uh, yeah, haven't really seen that too much. Uh, fit and finish uh, done pretty darn well. Centering is pretty good. Is it? Yeah, if if it might be just off to the show side of hair, but I don't think so. I think that shadow I'm getting. Yeah, it's pretty centered. Maybe just a bit. Oh, just maybe a bit. But flipper tab, got a decent decent amount of jimping up there. That catches pretty good. Now, as you can see there, try to light switch it. It is, it was a little bit lazy on the open. I mean, you give it a good flip, it comes out. And yes, hang on. Oh, now I screwed it up. I screwed it up. Watch. Yep, take it off camera. I can do it. There it is. Got it. Very good. Yes, you can reverse flick it pretty darn well. Now, am I worried about it doing this? No, not really. Not at all. But it does come out. It is a little slow on the flipper tab, but that reverse flick is pretty darn good. The detail is pretty solid with that reverse flick, though. Uh, action. Oh, yeah. Listen to it. Oh. Yeah, I like that. I like that sound. It's got a pretty nice action. As you can see there, I really don't have to move the knife, and it it comes shut. So action is pretty darn good. You got this really, well, I mean, it's kind of a clip, but it's definitely got a swedge on that. Look at that. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm just looking at that swedge on there. It's just, it's pretty wild. Looks good. Looks good. Tucson logo right there. D2 blade steel. There is TS399. Oh, I forgot to ask Casey how many of these were made. Because this one says number 45. So they are numbered. Not real sure how many were made. Uh, maybe I'll ask Casey and I'll get it in that uh, pin a comment or something. But overall, what do you guys think of the profile? I'm kind of digging it. To be perfectly honest with you. I know I like a little bit more cleaner lines normally in... The blade, but let's get rid of that. There we go. Got a little bit of a glare there. Oh, that's why. Over. 
Ah, there we go. That's better. Still got a little bit of a glare, but that's okay. Um, I know I usually like clean lines, but I don't know. I, I'm kind of digging that. You tell me. What do you think? You like it? Size comparison? Pretty close to the PM2. Yeah, those are pretty darn close. PM2 handles just a little bit longer. And then, of course, the bug out. Kind of going backwards here. Oh, get it back there. Showing you the size comparisons. But what is the overall size? Well, I'll tell you right now. We are looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, probably seven, seven point eight, roughly seven and three quarters, seven point eight, right in there. Handle, you're looking at right about. It's pretty close to four and a half, which is going to be just shy of a three and a half inch blade, and about a three, three and an eighth, almost three and a quarter inch cutting edge. Now. Oh, grip length. It's going to show you grip length. Oh, yeah, you could probably stretch that out to four inches. Now, there, that's how it looks in my three and three quarter inch hand. So, yeah, I mean, if you had to get back on there a little bit, um, there is kind of a little bit of a drop here. So I'm not sure how that would affect your grip if you have a little bit larger hand, because as you can see, I'm pretty much right in that point to point grip. Do you have some jimping up there on the, the spine that's actually really nice done pretty well now you do have an oversized choil <coughs> pardon me if i whew, i am really close to the corner of that blade when i when i choke up i mean yeah my fingers right there and i'm i'm back pretty and i'm kind of squeezing back on that flipper tab and it's close if you have fingers much bigger than mine mm, not quite not quite sure it'll do what you want it to do choking up. Give it a little bit of a weight here. Now, it's got a little bit of a weight to it. Not bad. Nothing bad at all. 4.3. Okay. And 122 grams. For our friends across the pond. Now we'll check out the carry. Carry's not bad at all either little little bit sticking out there nothing major oh good uh clip clip has pretty darn good retention it is a little light you can see there you can move it up pretty good uh ramp is pretty decent as well but clip could maybe be a little bit stiffer nothing major again now overall in hand fit and finish like i said Everything is chamfered off really nicely. It feels good that way. Um, like I said, these little, you know, kind of protrusions in the micarta to make the screws flush. That's interesting. Does it bother me? Uh, it. My eye keeps getting drawn to it. Does it bother me? Not really. Does it affect the grip in any way? Not for me. So I guess it's really not an issue. Everything else, though... In hand, I really like the swell in the handle. Fills my hand terrifically. I, I get a really, really solid grip on it. And then, like I said, with that jimping, yeah. Probably not going to choke up. I mean, if I do this, I, I can choke up, but it's not overly comfortable. Now, I did notice a couple of times uh, with the jimping on the side here. Yeah, right there. Uh, maybe a little bit of emery cloth to hit that because I noticed a couple of times when I grabbed up in there I was like, hey, what's going on there? Um, it's got a, a right on those corners have a little bit of maybe just kind of a dirty edge if you will kind of call it. Yeah, hit it with a little bit of emery cloth. It'll be fine. No, no problem there. Otherwise, uh, it's a really, really solid knife. I'm liking it quite a bit. Like I said, the action Action's fantastic. Button stick, maybe a tiny, tiny bit. Nothing major. And that could just be the... Yeah, I mean, there is a little there. There's a little. Nothing major, nothing I'm going to be mad about or anything like that. Um, overall, yeah. KC, I think you got yourself a winner there. And Sean, uh, TS399, I think you got yourself 
a really good design and a really good build from Tucson. So very cool. Haven't had a Tucson on the channel in a while. So this is pretty cool. Getting, getting some of the brands we don't see a lot of all the time. So it's not a Finch. I know I have lots of Finches on the channel. I get it. But got to get some more Tucsons on. Hopefully we will. Would love to. And anytime we can see a knife from Sean, I'm always excited about that. Great guy. Absolutely. 100%. So appreciate you guys checking it out with me tonight. Tell me, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the TS399? Honest opinion? Whatever you think. I always, I always want to hear your guys' opinions. You know, if you like it, great. If you don't like it, fantastic. There's, I'm sure there's something out there you will. So, as always, guys, like, subscribe, leave me... Oh, I forgot to tell you what it cost. Goodness gracious, where am I going? 90 bucks. That's what they're selling for on White Mountain Knives. And, of course, our good friend KC loaned us the knife. He actually has a code for White Mountain Knives. So I believe, I believe it's just code nice fast. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'll have to double check that. And maybe leave it down in the description as well for you. So very cool. That that saves you 10%. So that knocks it down to about 80 bucks. So not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Now, like, subscribe, and leave me that comment. Because you know I love talking to you. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.